be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head out of I... Hey, everybody, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is, I think, day four. Mom, why is um, your head red like that? It does look red, though, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, so today is day four for after my surgery. And I why, am here with this my, little guy. Why is my head red? I don't know. He is here having a yogurt and he's just sitting with me for a little bit before he goes to school. Are you excited to go to school today, baby? No. -uh. You're not? Not today? Why? He's been missing his mama because he's the, he's the one that is, he's a mama's boy. He's stuck to his mama more and he's a little sick. He's just a little bit, huh? Yeah. But mom, will you feel better? Uh, what is it, Bob? Hmm? Where are you going to be better? Oh, they had on caca de gato. Yeah, What's the cat out There's there trying to poop? There's oh, no. my honey. Oh, no. He's been a busy dad this week. What? Busy daddy. Busy daddy what this. That's a busy daddy. He's a busy daddy, huh? Yeah. My husband made me some breakfast again. Some eggs. Vanilla Greek yogurt with banana and granola. And coffee. And I'm also editing right there. my honeys so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my breakfast oh. sorry guys I just got a little pain alright hey everybody so it is later on in the day sorry I have not been vlogging as much but it's just I don't know I, I think it might be the medicine that is making me feel very tired just very tired very sleepy what baby what do you think is gonna be in this box i don't know baby so it is friday february <laughs> so yeah so i don't know this pill has been making me feel very tired very sleepy and um yeah just very just very tired very drained and very sleepy because i've been sleeping a lot today um but anyways um i'm I came in here into the living room a little while ago. I'm here with my son, my husband. Um, he went to go pick up my other son, and he didn't want to leave him here. But I told him he didn't want to go with him. I told him just leave him here. He'll be fine. He won't bother me. If I need anything, you know, I can always ask him to help me. And I did. I needed my camera because I want to give you guys a little update. So he brought me you guys. But anyways, but yeah, I'm just sitting here. Um, um, I just remember that I need to do my planner. I need to um, update my planner. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am doing the month of February. We are already on the third. So, so yeah, so, um, so I need to do that. I also need to do, um, plan out my bills. What bills am I gonna need to get? That is gonna need to get paid today. So yeah, I didn't do it earlier today just because like I said, I felt exhausted, you guys. These pills, like they just drain me and they make me feel so weird. They feel like, I don't know, when I'm, when my kids, when my whole family is here and we're all talking, it just feels like it's so loud and it echoes and it kind of overwhelms me. But yeah, but I just think it's the pills. Um, so yeah, so I've walked and I've also been drinking some water. I haven't been drinking as much water as I need to or I have not been walking as much as I need to as well. And I need to do that. So I'm going to make sure, you know, throughout this rest of the day that I need to keep walking and drinking more water. Just so that way I can drain out more fluids. And um, so yeah, so that is what's going on. But like I mentioned earlier, my tonsils are a little swollen. And I think because they put a tube down my throat that my tonsils are swollen and they're very sensitive right now. So I cannot drink my coffee, huh? I have to wait until it kind of room temperature cools down a little enough to the point where it's still warm. But it won't hurt my tonsils. 
and the same with my ice water i love coffee i love my my water with ice and i don't like to drink it too cold because it also hurts my tonsils hold on a minute all right hey everybody so it is 3 34 right now and i am currently painting my nails right here um yeah i just felt like i needed to paint them i've already done my little planning you know i've already done my bills and planning and whatnot so yeah that is what's going on and my daughter's on her way heading home from school and i am trying to keep up drinking some water i'm feeling a little bit better um, i'm gonna do a little bit more walking later and yeah that is all I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my nails so they can dry and I will show you guys how they look after they are done hey everybody good morning welcome back to my channel it is Saturday it is Saturday February the 4th it is 9 41 just finished having a little breakfast and some coffee and I am getting my stuff ready because I need to take a shower. This is gonna be my second shower. So I'm just getting my stuff ready right now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And I wanna wash my hair. Hopefully I'm able to do that. I don't know, I'm kind of scared, but yeah. And there goes the thief. She's gonna steal my dogs. So yeah, as you guys can see, I have my walker here. It's helping me out a lot. But yeah, I'm feeling a little burning sensation. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Um, just gonna get my clothes here. <laughs> This is what I'm gonna be putting on. I think I haven't been able to wear a bra just because I'm very swollen and I'm still a little bit, I think I might be bruised up. I don't know how my body looks to be quite honest right now. Just because I have this faja on, I honestly don't know how my body looks. But I am gonna be wearing these sweatpants because they're very loose on me, they're not tight. And then I'm gonna wear this black sports bra this top a loose top and some compression socks and that yeah that's it um i'll see you guys when i get out of the shower okay hey everybody i am back i just got out of the shower um so yes yeah, so i'm dressed you guys i am so freaking swollen let me go ahead and show you guys my legs are very swollen they look thicker than what they looked like before this is what i'm wearing right now by the way i look so big and thick look at my legs okay just put a little bit a little bit my legs are looking so thick you guys i'm so swollen I got um this. If you guys don't want to see this, look away. But I'm gonna go. Get... There's my belly button. My new belly button. Little by little. 
I went ahead and I put this on my hair. And this is Melly the Sea Moss. It's a anti-shedding um, leave-in conditioner. And this is infused with saw pal palmetto, something like that. But yeah, I really like this. I like the way it leaves my hair after it dries. And it smells really, really good. So I went ahead and I put that on my hair. And I went ahead and I rubbed some of this um, on my stomach. Because I am very swollen right now. Like, bad. Like, I'm swollen. And this is just an Arnica Care Cream. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. And show that they have used this. This is a pain relief, muscle pain, and stiffness. Swelling from injuries and bruises. My body, like the sides of my stomach, does have bruises. And I am, like I mentioned, I am very swollen. So I went ahead and I put some of this on. Last night, my daughter rubbed some on my legs. And I also have um, an Arnica tea that is also good for swelling so my husband just made me that right now and i'm gonna go ahead and drink that hopefully that helps as well i'm gonna try to have it three times a day my husband and my kids are gonna be heading out just my husband's gonna be taking out the kids just to get them out of the house for a little bit and he's gonna take them out to eat and then he's also gonna go ahead and just take them to walmart it's all in the same area just like i mentioned so they can get out for a little bit and then they'll be heading back home and I'm just going to rest. I'm going to take a nap and just rest. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do right now. I didn't really do much. But I do feel a little bit better. But I also do feel a little bit more swollen today. I did have some pants on, but I went ahead and I took them off. You see, my legs are so swollen, you guys. They were not looking like this. They are just so swollen right now. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit um i don't think i'd to be honest i don't even know what day i'm on i'll go ahead and put it on down here um there's not really much going on just being at home with the kids and just basically just sitting down eating making sure i'm taking my medicine getting up and making sure i'm walking and moving around so yeah that is all that is going on and it is let me go ahead and put it is saturday february 5th and it is 5 28 it is 5 28 and then a little bit i have to take my medicine and as you guys can see i don't know if you guys can tell but it is raining it is just pouring and it's windy out there and it just all came out of nowhere jake go help sissy now Pick up those cars. And this is what I'm dealing with over here. In the box and then go take it to your playroom. This, See, that's easy. This little boy over here, he's just like marching in place. You help clean up. Actually, not, not help clean up. Your sister's helping you clean up your mess. So come on. Pick up before daddy comes. Who has done that? Who has said pick up before your daddy comes? Eh, eh. Don't lie. We all know you've said that Yummy. before. Dick. Boy, go pick up your mess, man. Blow. You have mess everywhere. Blow so, yeah, so that is what's going on. i just been home. Hey. I've just been home all week. The kids, like I mentioned. Oh, I think, you know what? I did vlog yesterday. The kids, my husband did take them out to go have some lunch. And from there, he took them out to Walmart because they like to go there to go shop and spend their allowance or whatnot. But yeah, and then we used to got a mess over here. Damn, Jay, you need to say it nicely. That's not very nice. She doesn't hear me. Okay, then maybe you need to pick them up by yourself. If you pick them, pick them up, maybe I'll hear you. You could pick them up by yourself and put them exactly where you want them. Put this, the Mario, the Chica, and the cars. Hashtag real life, real mom life. But yeah, so I thought I'd just come on here and kind of just do a little check in for you guys, which is not much right now. I'm just confined to this chair over here, and I still have my little clip over here. So. Yeah, I, I actually want to eat a little body. something before I take my medicine. It's already 5.30. I, I need to go to take it. Oh, I'm going to have my daughter bring me a jello. Oh, I, I, I think daddy said there was one more jello left. 
Yeah, can you bring me the jello, please, with the spoon? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do because my husband just called me a little while ago. He was at Costco getting a few things for the next week because he's gonna be here for the next week. It'll be the second week that he'll be here and then he's gonna be going back to work. But he's just getting some basic things that we run out. <laughs> Boy, I did not realize. We just bought a gallon of milk and that gallon of milk finished and it was two gallons of milk so if you guys go shopping to costco you know you get like two gallons of milk together that is gone i whoa my husband told me we need to get some milk and eggs i was like didn't you just get some he's like yeah but it's gone i'm like that's the longest that's the quickest we've ever finished the milk but yeah that is what's going on so my sweet little daughter was kind of to bring me some jello. I'm gonna have this before I have my medicine because then I start to feel weird. I'll just have to just put the box and take it to the playroom. It looks the same though. It looks like you can never really pick them. It does look the same though. So I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna finish this up because I need to take my meds. Wow. Right, so I'm about to go ahead and get my son's clothes ready for the rest of the week. I usually make his little outfits and I'll hang them in hangers for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I always put like one or two extra outfits. That way my husband can just pick out of them. But at least he'll be put a little together. Because if I let my husband put the outfits together, you guys, he would not be, He, I mean, he'll be dress but he would improve be well put together so i'm gonna go ahead and put his outfits together slowly but surely
away later on in the day. It is 5.32. My husband and my kids got back home a while ago. And I finally put on my... Got to put on my um, faja. My husband washed it again. I finally got to put it back on. Still need to put on this... Um, Kind of like a piece of foam that they gave me to put in between my faja and my stomach. You see that piece right there? See that piece right there? That's what I need to put on this. This white piece that's hanging right there. I need to put that on. Yeah, that is what I need to put on. Um, I did walk. It is 5.33 already. And in a little while, I'm going to get up and walk again. Drinking some more water. Cause I've been feeling very bloated. I'm actually, like I mentioned earlier, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm able to stand up a little bit, stand up tall a little bit more. I'm able to walk without my walker here and there. And um, yeah, just feeling bloated and not feeling hungry at all. So yeah, that is what's going on. That is what's going on, so. Yeah, just sitting here watching TV. I want to start watching some videos so I can catch up on some of you guys' videos. I have been behind. I've just been super busy. And then with this, I really haven't been on here. And um, so, yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. Ow, ow. I do have an appointment coming up again here. It's, it's going to be my second pre-op appointment. It's going to be on Monday. I think they said they're going to be removing the stitches around my belly button because I do got a new belly button and yeah so my thighs are swollen my whole stomach is swollen my back is swollen and all of that and the little lady down there it's a little swollen I know it's a TMI but it is what it is it's what happens during a tummy tuck so if you guys are planning or thinking about getting a tummy tuck, you guys just gotta be very mentally, very mentally strong and kind of just understand that your body is gonna go through some stuff before you can actually see the full results. I mean, I didn't know that in hand, but I did watch in some other videos about it, about some women talking about it, but to me, it hasn't really mentally got to me or nothing like that, I'm okay. I think I kind of already accepted the fact that, you know, there are some things that my body has to go through before it can heal. It's going to be swollen. That's why they avoided me eating anything with salt or anything like that. If I eat eggs or anything like that, it's going to be without salt. So, yeah, but not many things with salt because then it'll just help with the, it'll just help me get swollen again so yeah so i'm trying to do a few things here and there to help with the swelling i'm walking i'm drinking water I'm trying to rub my legs with some arnica um cream drinking arnica tea just to help with that as well but yeah it's a little uncomfortable not much of an appetite even though i still gotta eat and when i'm eating i feel like i get full so fast and then i don't want to eat so yeah, not really much. I know I'm just giving, I'm just doing these little diary um, tummy tuck updates, just kind of talking to you guys, letting you know how I'm feeling, and not really showing much. But hopefully, as my, as I'm able to talk a little bit more, because when I talk, I feel like I run out of breath so quick. When I'm able to talk a little bit more, and when I'm able to stand up a little bit more straight, and my back's not hurting because right now it's killing me. And my back's not hurting me then i'll be able to to show a little bit more show more of my results and whatnot today i did give you guys a little view of how it looks after i showered not pretty at all not pretty at all so yeah it is what it is it's a tummy tuck it's not meant to look pretty at first so yeah i'll go ahead and talk to you guys later